What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another World of Warcraft video for the Warbit Inn, and today we're talking about something that you want to do every single week in the Warbit Inn. This has to do with profession knowledge points, so something you can do on a weekly basis for your professions that will benefit you whether you are going for gold making, gear crafting, you name it. If you have a profession and you are looking to get more knowledge points out of that profession, well doing this every single week will give you two knowledge points per profession. Now in this video I will go through the treasures that you can find in in the Warbit Inn and talk about the profession knowledge you can get from them. And in addition to that, I have found, it might not be the best spot by the way, but what I have found to be the spot where I'm farming this, I get a lot of treasures very fast and I think it might be one of the best spots if you want to just farm out these two knowledge points from treasures in the Warbit Inn on a weekly basis. If you're like me and you have a lot of characters, this is something you want to find a good spot for, so you can just uh, smack it out really fast instead of spending half an hour looking for treasures. Now on my first character, I spent about half half an hour gathering these treasures to get both knowledge points on my main, but I was just flying around Isle of Dorne and not knowing what to look for. Now, you, all you have to do is fly around and look for treasures, by the way, and they will be, they will be uh, located on the map as a treasure icon, so you can easily spot them as well, but by flying in certain locations and you're hyper looking for them, you can find these treasures very fast. So for me, I incorporated this into my Kedge farming route, where I'm currently flying around grabbing treasures, and I'm also grabbing the profession treasures that you also get knowledge points for. Now in this case, I just looted one spool of Duskweave right here, which is plus one knowledge point for tailoring. Once again, there's two knowledge points per profession that you can get from treasures like this, and if you have done the quest line in the uh, Ringing Deeps, you can also get it from Wax, which is basically dirt farming. So dirt or Wax farming you can get them from, and also the regular treasure boxes that you have in pretty much all locations. You have the lost satchels in the Ringing Deep, and you have these boxes that I'm currently farming in Hallowfall. Now as I talked about, I wanted to show you guys a good location to farm them, which is what we're seeing right now in the background, so you can see me looting these treasures as well, just to see visual examples of where they are, the treasures we find, and the thing is, you're not only getting treasures by the way, you sometimes get materials from this, you get the Radiant Echoes for example as well in Hallowfall for example example and you also get them, um, you just get a bunch of good items. Well, it's not, it's not gonna be insane. You're mainly farming for the profession knowledge points items, of course, but you're getting some bonuses here and there that will help you out as well. And my preferred location for farming this is this exact place that you're seeing in the background in Hallowfall. Now, Hallowfall in general has a lot of treasures overall the entire map, but from this place, we're able to hyper farm around about 10 treasures. And by the time you've done one small loop, they have all respawned again, so they will just keep spawning 24-7, and because there's so many treasures in a very dense area, well, they just keep kind of hyper-spawning, but not hyper-spawning really, but they spawn very fast. So as you can see at this point, I have just completed one loop, and the first treasure exactly respawned at the time that I completed the loop. So for the location itself, we can go back to the game, the in-game version here, and for the route, you literally just go to Hallowfall, you go to the west of Meraldar, so you would want to fly around the southwestern part, and back to the western part, or the south part. So you basically fly in a loop around where I'm currently pointing my cursor, so in the south and southwestern part of Meraldar, just following down the river here, for example, and then going back up and then going by the, um, well, by the green area, you will find a lot of treasures in this place. So just keep flying around in a big circular loop in that specific area, and you will have about 10 treasures located inside this loop that you will then gather for your own knowledge points. And per my knowledge and per my testing, this seems to be the fastest way to get these on a weekly basis. Now for me, I currently have 30 characters set up with professions, so once again, I need a good way to do this very quickly if I want to do it on all those characters. So if you spend half an hour, that would be 15 hours per week, which is absolutely not doable, but if we do 5 minutes per week, now suddenly it only becomes a 3 hour thing. Now that's still 3 hours, but it's way better than 15, just as an example. So for me, once again, this is the best location I have found to just hyper farm those those treasures if you're looking for those knowledge points for your professions for your alt army. Once again there might be better places out there and to talk about that real quick I think Hallowfall and also the Ringing Deeps are probably the best places 
for this. Ringing Deeps in general has a lot of treasures, by the way. You have those Awakening, the Machine, the, the Lost Machine kind of treasures. I don't know what they are. I think it's Lost Machine Reliquaries or something like that. And then you also have the Lost Satchel, the Deep Lost Satchels. So you can loot those as well. Now, from these treasures, you can also loot high value materials like the Profane Tinder Boxes and the Lost, um, the, the, what is it called? The Ringing Deeps Ingot. You can loot those as well. So, a bunch of reasons to actually farm these, but mainly the knowledge points. Now, while we are on the topic of weekly knowledge points, when it comes to your weeklies in the Warbit Inn, they are a little bit different than they were in Dragonflight. So, for example, to unlock those weeklies, just to give you a quick TLDR, you want to accept a quest over here, which I've already done, but you accept a quest from this guy, the requisition officer, located right here. And after that, you will then talk to this person, that's part of the quest, and talk back to this guy. That will give you a bag of 350 artisan security. After that, if you have crafty professions, this guy, or like the same person here actually, will offer you a quest to click on your crafting table. You want to do that quest and deliver that to your trainer. So literally pick up a quest from this guy, click on your professions crafting table, the alchemy table, leatherworking table, whatever your profession is, click on that table. Then after that, this person will now offer you weekly quests for crafting professions, which will be to fulfill between two and three crafting orders. So then you will have to do crafting orders. And you will then do those crafting orders either through the patron crafter order system, or you can even do personal. Now, the patron crafting orders do reward even more knowledge points. So for example, you would go here to your leatherworking bench, open leatherworking, and then you would click on patron orders or personal orders and fulfill that weekly quest. You can also get a bunch of knowledge points from doing patron orders by the way, so I would recommend doing patron orders, especially do the cheap ones just to get those two done at least, and then cash out on however many more you want, either for knowledge points or the acuity. So weekly quests are different, these trainers, the regular trainers, don't offer you any currently, although I believe that could end up changing. I don't know exactly how it was on the beta, but I do know that we had weekly quests for gathering, which we still do, which we still do by the way. So if you have mining, for example, talk to your mining trainer. If you have herbalism, talk to your herbalism trainer. So gathering, you have the same weekly quest you've always done, which you don't, you don't even have to farm for. You can buy those items on the auction house. Now for herbalism, that could be, for example, quality one arrow for spare. You can just go and buy those on the auction house, deliver that weekly, and you're good to go. In addition to that, herbalism, mining, and skinning can find knowledge points from doing their professions. I think it's between 8 and 10. The exact cap seems to be different, but it's between 8 and 10, or 6 and 10. I know that for enchanting I got 9, so for enchanting I got 9 profession points from disenchanting items. So that's another one to throw in there, enchanting can get knowledge points on a weekly basis by disenchanting items. So if you have enchanting and you haven't disenchanted yet this week, do so, you can get knowledge points. And for skinning, go out and skin. For herbalism and mining, go out and farm. And get some knowledge points that way as well. So gathering, you have regular weeklies, plus you can go out and farm and get more weeklies that way. And for crafting, you have crafting orders that will give you a bunch of knowledge, knowledge points, by the way, from the patron orders. Now, to give you guys a little bit of an update on my gold making so far in the Warbit Inn, I'm going to have a video coming out about this after a full week has gone by, which should be tomorrow, in which case I'll be doing a weekly mailbox opening to see exactly how much gold we have made, gathering all the mails in the mailbox. Now, so far, I'm just going to show you my TSM ledger so you know exactly what to expect, and I, I sent all of the gold away from this account before the Warbit Inn came out, or like before the pre-patch. So when we go to my TSM ledger right now, you will see that over here we had zero gold all the way leading up to the 1st of August, or actually the 2nd of August, or the 3rd of August, there we go. So the 2nd of August, we started having a lot of gold from selling items and flipping items during the pre-patch event. So we went up to 700k really fast, and we stayed on 700k until the Warbit Inn came out, which was right here. Now here you can see a big fluctuation in my gold, it's gone down a bit, then up a bit, then down a bit, then up a lot, and then down a lot one more time. So for me, I've spent a lot of gold, I've made a lot of gold, and I've also spent a lot of gold as well. Now, 
tomorrow in the weekly video that was, that was my cat if you can hear the cat but um, tomorrow we're going to do a video talking more about exactly how much gold I've made from this but as you can see we have spent over 1 million gold right here on items that we're using in for example concentration crafting and skilling up professions a huge part of my gold making process and my gold making journey right now is skilling up a bunch of professions which is really costly by the way enchanting for example easily 100k inscription easily 100k so so they all cost a lot, but they also make a lot back, so I'm interested to see how much gold we end up getting after one week of selling items. Either way, that's the video for today, a bit of a update on the weekly things to do at the start of the week. I mean, for EU, it should be Thursday today, so you can do this um, this week. You have the whole week to get knowledge points, go out and farm. Either way, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. I'm also live on Twitch, and one final sell out to my gold guide as well, which I did not mention in this, in this video. But if you wanna have access to more of my gold making stuff, check out that gold guide through the link down below, where you also get early access to videos, and even exclusive videos as well. It's a great way to support me, and a great way to make yourself more gold in this expansion. Either way, thank Thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it, come by on Twitch and say hello, and I'll see you there, peace.